Chapter 104, Caring Junior Sister Ning, Coldly Pure Chu Shanzi. Han Yi looked at the simple and delicate face of Ning Yujing in front of him, finding it strange. Such a peaceful lady coming to the pure Yang Peak for physical training seemed out of place no matter how he looked at it. Why would his master accept her into the sect? Ning Yujing's dazzling peach blossom eyes were still blinking and staring at Han Yi, waiting for his response. Han Yi came back to his senses, finally reacting, and said, Oh, it's Junior Sister Ning. There's no need for such politeness on Pure Yang Peak. Well, I'll be disciples of Pure Yang Peak in the future, so don't be so formal. Ning Yujing nodded her little head and obediently said, Hum, brother, I hope for your guidance. All right, let's stop with the formalities. Besides Han Yi, there are other inner disciples for you to choose from, don't just stare at him. Sister Shen on the side, feeling that her spotlight on pure Yang Peak had been stolen, spoke with a hint of dissatisfaction. What she said was not untrue. Aside from Han Yi, there were other inner disciples to choose from, so why was she only focusing on Han Yi? Her words drew nods of agreement from many of the inner disciples around her. Aside from Shen Yaxiang, pure Yang Peak finally had another female disciple. Thank heavens, that's great news. Many of the inner disciples were secretly rejoicing. This new junior sister looked pure and attractive. She seemed delicate and not as fierce as Shen Yuxian. She didn't seem like a woman at all. They were all thinking about how they could take this junior sister under their own wing. Junior sister Ning, come to my team. I will guide you in your cultivation and introduce you to everything in pure Yang Peak. Junior sister, the disciples under my banner all receive spirit stone subsidies, won't you consider this? I have mastered my divine skills quite proficiently. If my junior sister cultivates with me, it'll teach you personally and you'll make rapid progress. Many people were advertising for themselves very enthusiastically. In response to this, Ning Yujing just gave a light smile and politely bowed to the various senior brothers. Senior brothers, I'm sorry, but I already have a suitable choice. Unfortunately for them, Ning Yujing only had eyes for Han Yi, looking serious with her peach blossom eyes. I think senior brother Han is the best. What? All the inner disciples looked at each other in dismay, not understanding why she chose Han Yi. One disciple tried to take advantage of Ning Yujing's lack of knowledge about pure Yang Peak. And bluffed, Han Yi just entered the inner sect two years ago. How can his experience in guiding people compare to us older disciples? You should really reconsider your choice. Han Yi saw their squabbling appearance and couldn't help but rub his forehead in speechlessness. Was it necessary over one disciple? Sister Shen didn't like their pretentious grandeur and said, Do you not know your own weight and capabilities? Han Yi is now a foundation establishment cultivator, and you have been here for many years and are still messing around in the inner sect. Do you have the nerve to compare yourself to him? Shen Yuxiang, don't sabotage us like this. The named inner disciple sighed. You've already become a direct disciple. Couldn't you leave some face for us, your former peers? Aren't we more qualified to guide students? Shen Yuxiang glanced at him, chuckling. Why don't all of you compete with Han Yi? The winner gets to guide Ning Yujing. Forget it. Upon hearing these words, all the inner disciples lost their enthusiasm, because everyone knew deep down. Han Yi was the number one outer disciple a few years ago and often sparred with others. Gradually, everyone knew that he possessed the strength of the key cultivation realm capable of establishing a foundation. Now that he had broken through to establish a foundation, they knew they couldn't defeat him. Han Yi saw that they had mostly stopped quarreling and came to Ning Yujing, seriously confirming again. Junior Sister Ning, are you sure you want to cultivate with me? I don't have any spirit stone subsidies here, nor will I take you to tour the sect. My time is limited and I won't be able to care for you much. Most of the time, you'll have to rely on yourself. But the one commendable thing is that I do know quite a few divine skills. Upon hearing Han Yes mention that he wouldn't supervise her much, a light flickered in Ning Yujing's eyes as she smiled and said, That's all right, I'm a fast learner. I understand if brother is busy, I just need to learn new things. Seeing that the junior sister had chosen Han Yi, the surroundings resounded with sighs of disappointment. 
Han Yi ignored them and left the place with his disciples. Let's go. First, it'll take you to get your identity jade plates and the sex uniform. There were still many outer disciples who had chosen him, he didn't know if it was. Because there was a girl in his group or for some other reason. After Han Yi and his group slowly left. The remaining newly arrived outer disciples looked at the several senior brothers with hopeful expressions, senior brothers. Are those things you said about spirit stone subsidies, sectoring, and personal instruction of divine skills still valid? However, the response was, scram. Brother Han, I heard that the Dragon Sparrow sect had a big battle the year before, is that correct? Walking through the Great Hall, Ning Yujing quietly asked Han Yi beside her. Yes, you are very well informed. The ghoul sect was eradicated, the sect leader personally took action, the battle was quite fierce. Han Yi recalled, it wasn't until three months later that he learned that the ghoul sect had been completely expunged from the seven hazards of the demon path in that battle. Ning Yujing's tone was full of admiration, the dragon sparrow sect's heritage is indeed extraordinary. This incident has spread all over the world, everyone outside knows about it, which is why I traveled all the way here from Yuchuan province. You're from Yuchuan province? Han Yi was very surprised. Yes, Yuchuan province is a territory of the great Zhou dynasty that isn't rich, so it took a lot of effort for me to get here. Speaking of her hometown, Ning Yujing was somewhat sentimental. In Han Ye's perception, Yuchuan province is one of the ten earths. There's no beyond heaven there, no presence of immortal gates. Unlike the sword-cultivating families in Fuyao province or the numerous immortal sects in Qingyun province, it is ruled by the Shishuan country and their culture is strange. They believe in shamanism and have a liking for refining Gua kind of magic insect. The number of cultivators is not many, much less than in Qingyun province. It was a place Han Yi had never been to. Not just Yuchuan province, Han Yi had never been to 90% of the locations in the Nine Heavens and Ten Earths. He had only read about them in books. The forces of the Nine Heavens and Ten Earths with the Immortal Gates at their helm are located in the center of the Central Earth. They are divided into Taikang Heaven, Fulixi Anshan Heaven, Wuliang Heaven, and so on. Apart from Qingyun and Fuyao, there are also places like Yuchuan Province, Donge Province, Kimo Province, Shanlong Province, among others. Huangquan Valley is located in Mo State, very close to Qingyun Province, at the northernmost edge of the Dragon Sparrow Sect. The Demon Dragon in Han Yes Heavenly Demon Nether Dragon Scroll originated from the Ash Dragon Valley in Zhanlong Province. In the Middle Age, dragon hunting was prevalent, all for the various treasures on dragon bodies. The Dragon Clan was hunted by the human race to near extinction, hence the name was changed to Zhanlong Province. Zhanlong Province has a famous site known as the Zhanlong Platform which is renowned worldwide. It is a place stained with dragon blood, its demonic energy reaches the sky. It is as famous as Emt, Wendao in Qingyun Province, and both are among the seven ancient wonders of the cultivation world. Han Yi found these landmarks and scenic spots fascinating, and he may now understand why Chu Shan Yu from the Book Collection Pavilion was so obsessed with them. Alternatively, it's an extremely vast world. Upon receiving their identity jade plates and storage rings, the new outer sect disciples, Ning Yujing also changed into a fitting blue robe and saw Han Yi waiting at the entrance of the Laishan sect. She could always feel a special vibe from Han Yi, which was mutually attractive to the spiritual root in her body. She could sense that the spiritual root on this senior brother was not ordinary. It's an extremely special spiritual root. Ning Yujing delicately pursed her lips and thought for a moment. She took out a bag of spirit leaves from her storage ring and gave them. To Han Yi, senior brother, this is a specialty from my hometown, Valley Dragon Leaf. You may accept it, it tastes good. You didn't need to give me a gift for guiding you, which is my duty. Han Yi was encountering such a thoughtful disciple for the first time. He skeked and then impolitely accepted, feeling embarrassed for making her carry it. Senior brother, is there anything else you need me to do? It's no problem, I can handle it. You can just go about your business. Han Yi chuckled, the Dragon Sparrow sect isn't like those small sects. The first thing for an outer sect disciple to do is to cultivate well. 
You don't need to think too much. Junior sister, if you encounter any problems in your cultivation, you can come to me. Really, there's nothing else? When Han Yi turned her down, Ning Yujing seemed disappointed. Seeing her like this, Han Yi couldn't bear it and said, Well, there is one thing. Why don't you come to my cave mansion and take care of the spiritual plants? Just water them and loosen the soil every day. You can also practice some simple spells in the process. Okay, senior brother. Han Yi eyed the other outer sect disciples and contemplated, as for you all, go and cultivate. The key cultivation realm needs a lot of key nurturing pills, each month is 100 spirit stones, and you can only buy two bottles. Also, remember to familiarize yourself with the sect rules. If you encounter trouble like being bullied by other outer sect disciples, don't come and find me. I'm only responsible for your cultivation matters. After giving the basic guidelines, he wanted to leave. At this time, he had a heap of tasks to handle like researching third-order spiritual plants, refining earth-grade elixir, starting on artifact refining attributes, etc. After breaking through to the foundation establishment, he was also able to learn some new spells. He couldn't afford to waste time on the outer sect disciples. Han Yi, come with me. The sect leader has tasks to assign. At this moment, a cold voice rang out from the sky without the person in sight. One could see a slender female figure wearing a dually hat and dressed in white. She was atop a green flying sword and hovering in the sky above Pure Yang Peak. Her charming eyes glanced at Ning Yujing under the white veil, the faint smile on her face faded. Chu Jian Yu's indifferent eyes swept over Ning Yujing before returning to Han Yi and she asked, Who is she?